umfahren. That's that's the 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 highlight of this word umfahren. Um Welcome back to La Deutsche Vita, life in Germany, made in Germany. My name is still Phoebe and I am so sorry that we've had two weeks without German Word of the Week. It's been hectic on this side. It's been quite hectic. So thank you to everybody who asked when is the next word coming. It made me feel like, yes, yeah, somebody's actually paying attention. So to my friends, to my family, thank you so much for staying on me and consistency is back, okay? And you can see we are in a different setup today. So first off, I want to say a big thank you to my mother-in-law and for giving us this beautiful setup today. I love it. And you might be doing more in this room because this is just lit. It's lit. Right? <laughs> and yes, I love it. It's giving me a different energy. And yeah, so today on German Word of the Week. Oh yes, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much to my friends, family, subscribers thank you so much for the support it's really encouraging and um if you're a new subscriber welcome let me know okay just give me a shout out say hi i'm new and i'll reply to you i promise i promise i'll reply so let's get into this word or this week's word this week's word is a, um it's a uh, what do you call it a recommendation it was suggested to me by a friend and um here's your word we're going to do it so the verb for this week is, everybody knows this, everybody knows this, driving, riding, okay. <clears throat> so the word is fahren, okay, fahren. The past tense of the word is fuhr and the participle is gefahren. And one trick about fahren or the participle is you don't say um, ich habe gefahren, you say ich bin gefahren. So I drove or I had driven, ich bin gefahren. And fahren means drive or ride. So, um, as I always say, German is precise. So once you hear something with fahren, they normally would add what they drove or what they rode on. So, ich bin Rad gefahren, I rode a bike. Um, ich bin mit dem Zug gefahren, I rode on the train. Um, ich fuhr das Auto, I drove the car. Okay, so that is one thing. And also, let's say, um, if something was, um, when it was gefahren wurde or it's, it was um, run on something, it also say fahren, like some kind of system, it's also fahren, but then it's, it, in, in English it would be to run something on something, right? All right. Now, there are different constellations that you can use fahren in and then they have a slightly different meaning as usual. So, of course, what we all love is in Urlaub fahren, to go on vacation, who doesn't love that? In Urlaub fahren, that's going on vacation. Um, zu Schanden fahren. Zu Schanden fahren means to ruin something, like let it go into pieces. To just bang it, spoil it. That's zu Schanden fahren. We have aus der Haut fahren. I got to confirm this yesterday. So aus der Haut fahren means to be enraged about something, like literal translation is to ride out of your skin or to drive out of your skin. For you to have an, a picture of it, so to be angry, to be livid about something. Aus der Haut fahren. Über etwas fahren. It could mean you driving over something, but when you, for example, um, I touch my pullover, I do this, this is über, über etwas fahren, über den pullover fahren. To just run something over with your hand, to, to feel something. Über etwas fahren, also mit der Hand, yes. Umfahren. That's, that's the, the, the highlight of this word, umfahren. Umfahren has two meanings, okay? Umfahren can mean to drive around something, so to avoid it, or to knock something over, or to knock, to knock someone over. So, ich hab's umgefahren means I knocked it down, so please don't be doing it. Don't be saying it in the wrong way. It means you killed the thing, or you killed the person, or you knocked the person down. And it have some fun means I avoided it. I just drove around it, right? Let's come to the to the nouns in connection with fahren. So die Fahrt is the ride or the drive. Die Fahrt, die Fahrt. And die Ausfahrt is the exit, but not the exit that you should walk 
out of it once you see it with fat it means it's something like you have to drive out of it so um that's usually the exit of the autobahn ausfahrt the ausfahrt and then you see the other thing that's similar it's an ausgang that's exit but the one you walk out of so note ausgang emergency exit be careful of that connection with that you would also hear erfahren erfahren is something totally different they just sound similar with you think oh, it just has a different prefix but erfahren means to get to know something to find out about something or to experience okay so it's something totally different so don't confuse the two sometimes they use erfahren as an adjective like the participle so erfahren ich erfahre ich erfuhr ich habe ich habe erfahren ich habe erfahren so i i experienced i experienced and i have experienced okay and if you want to say i am experienced ich bin erfahren okay that's that's the only so when it's with erfahren you use haben with the participle but once you use been you are talking you're using erfahren as an adjective so for example um experienced and expert seasoned um sophisticated skilled like when it comes to technical terms um or well versed so erfahren just talks about how the person is in that field and let me just give you this line i hope you don't you don't ever get to say it because it's it's hard but well you don't have to say it for yourself like in relation to yourself but etwas am eigenen leib erfahren so to experience something by yourself like through your own person by your own body like i felt it etwas am eigenen leib erfahren etwas am eigenen leib erfahren that is to learn something the hard way to learn something the hard way so etwas am eigenen leib erfahren the noun for erfahrung is die erfahrung and little tip once you see the the end u and g it's mostly feminine actually always feminine so die erfahrung is feminine and that's the experience so guys, you have come to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for sticking around. Wish you a prosperous and productive week. And let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. See you same time next week. Ciao.